Section 3, Performance Optimizations. In this section, we'll learn various tips and tricks for speeding up our CUDA code. While GPU hardware is very powerful, we need to design our programs carefully to get the most out of it. We'll learn about profiling tools, the various types of memory and caches, and techniques for maximizing parallelism in our kernels. The NVIDIA Visual Profiler. In this video, we'll learn how to use one of the profiling tools included with the CUDA toolkit. The Visual Profiler is a really useful tool that ships with the CUDA toolkit. It can trace and analyze both device code and CUDA API calls to give an overall view of the performance of your application. It also has a guided analysis mode, which gives you step-by-step -step instructions for improving performance. The profiler uses hardware performance counters on the GPU. These are a developer-specific feature, and for security reasons, you may not have permission to access them unless you're logged in as an admin user. If that's the case, the profiler will show you a helpful message and a link with setup instructions. I've also included the link on this slide. On this system, I've already set up access to the performance counters. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate the profiler on a new example program. This kernel takes a color image and converts it to monochrome by taking a weighted average of the color channels. The weights here represent the perceived intensity of each color. Green light looks brightest to the human eye and blue light looks dimmest. The image pixels are represented here by structs containing four floats, one for each color channel, plus alpha for transparency. The monochrome filter doesn't affect alpha, so we just copy it through. I've wrapped this kernel in a little test harness, which loads and saves images and reports how long the kernel takes to run. Let's try it out. Here's the original image and the monochrome output. Now let's profile it. First off, for best profiling results, we want to compile with the dash line info flag. Compiling in device debug mode with dash capital G will turn off optimizations for device code, which could screw up our profiling results. The line info flag includes debug symbols for line numbers, but still optimizes. Now we can launch the profiler. It starts with a little wizard where we can fill in the arguments and any environment variables that we need. In this case, the profiler has already picked up the arguments from the command line. The default profiling options are good for now. And now the profiler will run our program and generate a timeline. This shows us roughly what's happening over the course of a run. First, we allocate some memory, then mem copy to the device, run our kernel, and finally copy back. Notice that the kernel is just a tiny slice in the middle of this. Since we're not doing a lot of processing, copying back and forth to the device takes much longer than the kernel does. For a real world program, this would be bad news, but since this is a test harness for a single kernel, it's not a big deal. Now we can use the guided analysis. It's going to collect some more data and make suggestions. Most of this is just telling me what I already knew, that I'm not running enough device code to keep the GPU busy. Let's drill down into the kernel itself. The profiler tells me that memory bandwidth is the bottleneck for my kernel. Basically, it's spending most of its time loading data from global memory into registers on the individual SMs and storing the results back. The CUDA cores are mostly just waiting for that data. I can ask the profiler to give me more details. And now it's actually pointing to specific lines in my code that can be optimized. When I click, it displays both the code and the disassembly. If we look closely at this, we can find the problem and improve our code, but I'll save that for the next video. This has just been a quick tour of the profiler. It has a lot of other useful features. If you want to learn more, check out the user manual, which is included with the CUDA toolkit.